delighted to welcome you here live to Edinburgh Festival Theatre where we are preparing for this afternoon's matinee performance of The Sleeping Beauty. The dancers are already preparing on stage. They're warming up. Dancers are given permission by the stage manager and the technical department to come along to the stage once those departments are absolutely sure that the set and the stage are fully prepared for the show. The dancers then make their way to the stage and they can begin to focus on their role today, warming up their bodies and the movements, the precise movements that they'll make during their roles. Dancers have already taken class today with ballet mistress Hope Muir. Class lasts for one hour and 15 minutes, but this is a chance for dancers to really start to focus on their own personal warm-up time and their own roles within The Sleeping Beauty. In front of you, you can see Cara McLaughlin, one of our Scottish dancers. You can also see Adam Blyde in the grey polo neck, one of our principal male dancers, who is warming up and preparing his arms and legs. Luke is taking place on the set. As you can see, the dancers are quite familiar with the set and making themselves feel at home there. As part of our webcast today and to give you a true insight into how the dancers prepare for their roles in The Sleeping Beauty, we've asked three dancers to prepare personal diaries during the weeks that they learn their roles. So I'm delighted to welcome today Owen, Lucy and Ava who are going to talk with us and tell us about their experiences over the last few weeks. Owen and Ava and Lucy, would you I'm like to come and join me here? Uh, the principal role, which is Aurora, for me is going to be... Welcome. So I'd like to begin by asking each of you to tell us a little bit about yourself, your dance experience and your time with Scottish Ballet and maybe a little bit about your role that you're going to be dancing today. So I'd like to start with you, Owen. Okay. Hello. Uh, my name is Owen. I am from uh, America. I've been Scottish Ballet for two and a half years now. Uh, let's see. Dance training. I trained as a classical ballet dancer. I started when I was seven years old. Um, today I am an elephant prince. Uh, the, I like think, the hair. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you know, I thought. I thought yeah. So yeah, elephant prince today. Um, Great. Which and is how long have funny. you been with Scottish Ballet for? Two and a half years. Two and a yeah. half years. Great. Okay. And Lucy, you've been with us for quite a considerable time, haven't you? Yeah, a little bit longer than that. Um, Can you tell us a little bit about your training before you came here first? Yes, um, I trained, I'm from Argentina, so I trained first there until the age of, I started when I was 12, mm -hmm. until the age of 16. And then I decided to move um, to London. So I finished my training uh, with Royal Ballet until the age of 19. And then uh, straight away I joined the company. So it's been Lovely. about nine years now so brilliant and yes. what role are you playing in the sleeping um, beauty i'm doing today i'm doing the snow white brilliant so looking forward to it brilliant yes. okay eva you're new okay. to the company yeah i just joined the company in july in july can yeah. you tell us a little bit about your background before you came here before i was in the ballet of flanders for five years in belgium and then i decided to move on so i decided brilliant. to come here and yeah. what roles are you playing during the sleeping beauty uh, today i'm doing the bluebird and the song fairy in the prologue. But we're yeah. also very excited that you're learning the role of, of Aurora, Aurora, which yes. is the principal role, and I'm gonna dance on Saturday matinee. Brilliant, and you're very excited. I'm very excited. Brilliant, yes. okay, <laughs> thank you. So now we're about to go to the first pre-recorded diaries, where the dancers are in rehearsals at Scottish Ballet in our headquarters, the studio's there, and they're talking to us a little bit about how it feels to begin to learn the steps and to really start to make the movements their own. I'm uh, learning uh, the principal role, which is Aurora. For me, it's going to be a big challenge, and yeah, I will give myself 100% to be the best, I mean, to do the best for, for that. I learn almost all the material, but now I need to work like in the details, and once I know the steps, I can go for it. 
So now it's the, this process to learn and to fix like a little details. And also stamina is important, but it's going much better. Like every day that I'm working and I'm focusing on the steps and try to run from beginning until the end is going much better. I like this role, so I enjoy almost everything. Like every single moment for me is important. I have done a Sleeping Beauty before. I've done it twice. Now I'm preparing for the Queen and that's a new role for me and it's a massive challenge. It's technically challenging but as well um, it's a lot of acting. I think dancers we are so used to dance and you know being able to express ourselves by moving but at the same time uh, doing the queen you have to do that as well when you're dancing but you have your moments where you're just acting. It doesn't come naturally to me, that's something that I really have to try and but I'm happy that I have to do that. You can learn a lot from other dancers, especially when the role is being created on that person. So even little details, you know, I do this, maybe you can do it, but in a different way. You always have to make it your own as well. That's very important, so we all not look the same. And on the other roles, is as for the challenge that we've do I've done the other roles already. So to me, my challenge is that they have to be a lot better than what I've done before. In every performance, you, you know, I, I always think of I have to do it better and I have to think of my steps and as well the quality of the movement. So you can always grow. You can be doing 20 shows, but you can always still make it better. You know, especially after we've been, a few, we've been doing a lot of shows, um, you feel really tired and you always want to push yourself to do better and better, but sometimes your body is almost you're fighting against your body and what you want to do. But um, I always think, well, it didn't happen today, it will happen tomorrow. You know, you can't get down, you always have to keep going and push to make the part look better, you know, especially for, you know, obviously as a dancer, but as well, you know, people people, the public are coming to watch the show and you always want to give a hundred percent. That's what, you know, that's what we are here to do and to make people feel something, good or bad, but to make them feel something different, something special. There are always a variety of emotions that come with performing and anticipating performances. Um, it's exciting, obviously, it's what I love to do, but it's always the preparation of trying to put the very best part of you forward. I mean, I think it's a process. Every day, and it's not always easy doing this. It's, I think that many people think it's glamorous, I suppose, but it's a lot of hard work. It's manual labor, uh, and, I, and it's my passion. It's what I love to do, but that doesn't change the fact that it's very difficult. And, uh, but, but that aches and pains are just something you gotta deal with. What I have to deal with, you don't have to deal with it. The, the, the parts that I answer are all very different. Uh, the King is primarily an acting role. So that's always good fun. Uh, that's something that it's, uh, it's fun to perform. It's difficult to rehearse because you don't want to over-rehearse something because then it's fake. It loses it when you perform. It's no longer in the moment. So it's sort of trying to get all my ducks in a row for the performance, which is very much the opposite of the other roles that I'm rehearsing, which are um, very technical, very difficult. The, I danced the Cinderella at the Pot de with Claire Robertson, who's the principal dancer in the company. And she's just coming back from having a baby. And she, the Pot de that we danced together is very long and very, very difficult. Very stamina driven. Uh, and is very sexy and has lots of attitude. And that's something that you can only accomplish by repetition and doing it over and over again. If my last rehearsal was a show, I would be very unhappy with it. But. It was better than the rehearsal before, and then better than the rehearsal before that. And I believe that if we continue with that progress, we'll make it to the show with the, with the product that I'll be happy with. <laughs> All right, I'll see you. Here we are, back at the side of the stage, live. So those were some really fantastic diary, guys. Thank you very much for that. Um, talking really about the rehearsal process and in the studio and really getting to grips with the movement, so there's quite a bit of discussion about making the movements your own. So that's maybe quite a bit of an alien term for us. So Owen, could you start by telling us a little bit about what that means for a dancer to make the movements their own? Okay, uh, make the movement your own. Well, I think that first starts with understanding 
what the choreography is and what uh, the choreographer wants, which is Ashley Page in this case, and the musicality. And then uh, letting your personality and your, uh, and your character's personality reflect in the movement, uh, which is quite challenging. And I would also say probably the most fun yeah. aspect of, the, of, of dancing. Great, OK. Do you have anything to add to that, your personal experience of yes, that? Yes, I, I think as well it's like, you know, you learn a role. I mean, you learn several roles in, in, in this case, in the Sleeping Beauty, and there are few people learning the same role. So it's important that you make it your own. Otherwise, every person looks the same. Yeah. So that's super important for you to, you know, make it your own with a different dynamic or whatever it is that you feel that role brings to you to as yourself. well. Yeah. So you're doing that with the Lilac Fairy? Yes, I am. I'm and doing that. And that's quite a lot of acting in that role. It's a lot of acting and it's, it's challenging. For me, it's almost more challenging the acting than the dancing, you know, because yeah. you, I think as the Lilac Fairy, you have to um, bring the story and tell the story as well. Yeah. So it's very important. Lovely. Thank you, Lucy. Ava, I wanted to talk to you particularly about acting especially with the role that you've been learning of Aurora. Yes. Can course. you can you tell us a little bit about what it means for a dancer to not just be um, learning those movements, embodying the movements and expressing themselves through the movement, but also to add the additional layer of acting onto that, particularly with these narrative storytelling valleys? Yeah, of course, like especially in the first act, Aurora have a lot of acting like after the first entrance, then have a lot of contact with the mother, with the father, so you have to act and you have to try to be yourself as much as you can. So yeah. you have to be real in a way. And for, yeah, it's important to really express yourself as much as you can in that moment, yeah. And is it, is it easier to do that when you've got an audience there? Yeah, yes, yeah, naturally. the audience, the costume, and yeah, on stage is completely different than doing the studio, yeah. yeah. So. How do the ballet masters and mistresses who are coaching you in your role, how do they sort of encourage your acting whilst you're learning the role? Well, once you start to, I mean, you learn the steps. So this is the first thing. So you really have to know when to do these steps at that time. And then slowly you just practice and it's going to come automatically. Like, yeah. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks for that, guys. So now we're going to look at the second instalment of the diaries, quite an exciting instalment where all three of our dancers here are going to really start to talk to us about how it feels to move from a bare studio into the theatre itself and the excitement that comes with that. Well, right now we are just at four days before the, the premiere and yeah, I'm so excited and tomorrow we're gonna be already in the Royal Theatre. Right now I'm feeling very nervous, I have to say. <laughs> like always, I mean, that's me every time I have to dance like important role or really hard things. I'm always nervous and I feel so stressed, but it's important like to be like this for me before to go on stage. Like it's a healthy stress and help me also to like go through my steps when I'm home in the evening, just uh, thinking about what I did uh, all day in the rehearsal and going through the steps in the same time singing and I mean it's important. I'm enjoying so much this, this rehearsal knowing that I'm gonna be dancing Aurora which is the principal role. I mean for me it's very very important and I'm taking every day and every moment of the rehearsal like I don't know. I don't. I don't even find the word to explain how I can feel right now. It's so. It's so nice. It's just. Yeah, I'm so happy about it. So for me, every moment is very important in the rehearsal. Like going through the details, and working very hard, and yeah, enjoying every every moment there. I can't wait to be on stage and to just express myself and enjoy. That's it. Today is our first day in the theatre. We are very excited that it's getting closer to the opening night and as well to be on the stage. It feels more real. We've been re uh, rehearsing with the costumes and the lights, so all, that's always a little bit of a challenge on the first time we do this as it feels so much different than being on, in the studio. It does kind of feel like, an, like a real show, but the difference is that we don't have a full audience, so 
and I prefer obviously um, doing the show as the adrenaline and the excitement of the opening night is always great. You can feel it from everybody on the stage. Feeling quite tired, but at the same time, loving every minute of it and um, hoping that the first night it would be a success. So today we did, we had our first dress run of Act One, and that that went, it happened. Um, I guess that's why we have rehearsals, and they often say, bad rehearsal, good performance. So we're getting closer to the shows. Um, it's getting quite tense, I, would, I suppose. It, it's always, it's the last stage of getting from the rehearsal to a polished product. It's always quite a push. We, we ran it yesterday, and I almost died. Uh, it was pretty hard. Uh, it's a really hard piece. It's, yeah, every time I, I think I'm going to fall flat on the ground right, right before I finish. Um, but of course, you guys would never know. No. The rest of the day, we are doing the second and third act. I'm the king. I'm dancing with uh, Eve Hutzo, fantastic Eve Hutzo, uh, as my queen. And there it's, it, it's a lot of acting, a lot of fun, a lot of celebrating. A lot of drinking pretend champagne, there's nothing in there, not even water. In the third act, I primarily sit, a lot of sitting. The, all the divertisements and, uh, so actually, uh, sitting's actually not that easy either. You have to, you know, you have to, uh, you know, figure out, um, what's the best angle, and so it's, it's really getting all these, the, the fine details that, that make the difference between a good production and something that's very sloppy. So it's getting, I mean, it's getting exciting. Uh, I'm excited to perform. Two days. Get that sweet, sweet applause. It's nothing like it. Um, soon. No, it's gonna be good. Here we are, back again, at the side of the stage. I'm gonna ask the dancers now a little bit about adding all those elements in once we move into the theater, which is quite an exciting stage for you all. So Lucy, can you tell me a little bit about how it feels when you add the lights in? Because obviously it's not something that we necessarily think of as an audience member, but the disorientation and that kind of thing is something that you have to contend with. Can you tell us how that feels? Sure. It is really different, different coming from the studio into the stage and the lights especially, because it depends what role you do and depends what scene you do in the ballet. The lights can be brighter or even the stage you can feel that is very dark. So that's a big challenge. And, but you know, you do get used to it. The first time you're on a stage with the lights, you do get a little bit disorientated. Sometimes you even finish your solo the other way around. <laughs> but then, you know, the more you do, the more you get used to it and then it becomes natural. natural. It's not a problem anymore, yes. Okay. Anything to add to that, Owen? Yeah, I guess, I guess um, the lights, it's sort of like having someone shining a uh, flashlight or a torch, if you will, uh, in your eye, which is not nice, but having them very high powered and hundreds of them. And all, all different levels. All Side levels, lights, different angles. Lights. I mean, yeah, I mean, that, that can be disconcerting, certainly. Yeah. But you just get used to it, really. Yeah. Okay. Another thing that I was wondering about was the costumes. So presumably, it's quite a different feeling moving from wearing leotard and tights, tracksuit bottoms, into sometimes quite structured costumes, sometimes quite flimsy costumes. So yeah. can you tell us a little bit about how that feels, Ava? Yeah, of course, in the studio, you just rehearse with a like, rehearsal tutu or like little skirts. And of course, when you go on stage and you start to rehearse with a real too, too, like sometimes can be too tight, so I have to adapt like mm. with your body. And yeah, like for example, in Aurora, in the beginning you have the big tutu, and then for the second act, for the awakening, you change with the little dress, so it's much more comfortable. But yeah, you get used once you start rehearsing on stage and you like the costume start to take the shape of your body, you feel more comfortable. And is yeah. it quite difficult, for example, when you're working with a partner? so that your partner is lifting you and has to be aware yeah, of the tutu. The feeling for the partner can be different also because also the material here is different than just Can be slippery. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Owen, can you tell us a little bit about, I mean, you're playing, as we can see today, you're in a lovely fairy outfit, mm. but also the king. So what's the difference in the costume yeah, there? Well, I guess the difference in the costume is sometimes I'm wearing a tuxedo and sometimes I'm wearing this, <laughs> um, which is there's a real variety. This has a corset. Um, and the king costume has is, is proper suits, which uh, is a bit more 
dignified. I, I like I like wearing the suits. Suit. Probably I prefer that. But uh, this is also interesting. It's, it has a different Dynamic. makes you feel very different. Yeah, I don't feel like myself. Great. Okay, thank you. We're now going to look at a very final diary, and this is Owen, taken right after opening night. He's going to talk to us a little bit about how that feels, how it went for him, and then looking forwards towards the next few performances, how they're going, and with a view to carrying on throughout the tour. So, uh, let's see, we just had opening night on Saturday. It went really well. Um, absolutely, all the hard work was worth it. Um, it's really once you get the, the audience members in there and the, the, the seats full of people that comes alive and it gets really exciting. And uh, well, there's nothing like the adrenaline rush. It, it was interesting because we, we spent all this time working and there's no one ever there. And so you always sort of wonder like, will they think this bit's funny? Will they, will they think that's too much? Or will they, will they, you know, is it too melodramatic? Will, they, will I lose the audience there? Or, and it seemed like they liked it. Um, it seemed like they laughed at the right points and, didn't laugh at the right points, which is also important. The week before the show, when it seems like nothing's going to happen, there's injuries and everyone keeps making the same mistakes, and you know it, it gets it gets a bit nerve-wracking. But I think it all came together in the last in the end. So I, I was very happy with it. I definitely um, took it, went to the next level um, in terms of uh, performance quality and acting and all those things, which a lot of times they just sort of happen once you once there are people there finally. I danced with the lovely Eve Mutso as the queen, and so that's always nice because we performed quite a bit together and have a, a good partnership, um, and you know work partnership, and uh, so it's someone that you know you can rely on. And I know you know I understand her and she understands me, so that it, that was nice. That always makes it much easier. It's sort of like having a, a friend in your corner. And uh, Claire came back to Claire's was opening night Aurora. And she was lovely. I played her father, and I, there wasn't much acting for me to pretend like she was beautiful because she was truly fantastic. I had goosebumps all over, and uh, it was a real pleasure. It was it was nice being part of her coming back because it sort of gave an extra energy that there was someone really working to get back to where they were before, which she absolutely did. She looked fantastic. Um, so that was that was something that added a little extra excitement to the night to having our prima ballerina come back to a very very difficult role and she, she was fantastic. So opening night's down, so that's one show, and we have 30 something shows left. So that's a little bit daunting to think of all the energy that went into just one show, and that's just a very small percentage. But what I try to do is find uh, different things to focus on in each performance, different facets or of the character, or different things that I wish to highlight in the performance, which no one else would notice if they came and saw the show, but, but for me personally, trying to make each show a little bit better is what really gets me going through. And so now the challenge is that I can't do the show as I did it before. I have to do the show better than I did it before. And that's, that's my own personal challenge, which doesn't always happen, unfortunately. But uh, now, now that I have to strive to make each show my best show, because you're only as good as your last show, as my teacher always said, which I believe was all the hard work with it, of course. Uh, I do this because I love it, and it's all that I want to do. And uh, it's a pleasure every day to perform. And, and all I want to do, or, you know, my, my real goal is to hopefully try to inspire someone as I've been inspired watching dance performances. And so I, you know, I work towards that every day and hope that I can do something to, you know, do something that will take people away from the, their everyday lives and give them a little bit of happiness. It's getting really exciting here backstage now. The orchestra are warming up. Everyone is getting into their costumes, really getting ready to go now. So I've just got a couple of quick questions left before we finish. So I'm just going to ask you, Lucy, about opening night for the show. So we've had the build-up of rehearsals and everything. How was opening night for you? It was great. It was really exciting. And you can feel the atmosphere of like the whole company, that we were ready to go on a stage and do the first show. So it was really good. Really, really good. Great. And Ava, before you run off from us and get prepared for your role today, can you tell us how the opening night went for you? The opening night was good. I was very excited, of course. And yeah, I just enjoyed it. I had really, yeah, a nice feeling to be there on stage. Yeah. 
Great. Okay, thanks, Ava. I'm going to let you go off now and take okay. some time to get yourself prepared. We're that's just great. about to start the show. Yes. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you and you. goodbye. So that's the beginner's call gone. That's a call that the stage manager gives out to everyone backstage just to alert them to the fact that the show is now beginning to start in the next two minutes. So I'd like to say goodbye. Thank you for being with us today at Scottish Ballet. And if you want to watch this as a webcast, it will be on our website after the weekend. Goodbye.